Assalamu alaikum grade 6. I hope you all are doing well. Today we are having second ICT practical session in which we are going to start lesson 3.5 creating your visuals. Page number 60 and 61. Kindly open your book page number 60 and 61 because we are going to follow the activity that is given in the book. It is discussed in detail and we are going to follow those steps inshallah in the tutorial. So you can take help from the book as well and you can practice on your computer. Dear students, learning outcome for today's lesson, how to create a PowerPoint slideshow for the visual element of your presentation. So visual element usually means that we are going to have a tutorial related to different slides layout and then what are the different features that we can use to insert our pictures and then what are the different features that we can use to insert for example video or screenshot or we can insert tables and what are the different font styles and then we will discuss a little bit about transition as well and then inshallah like this step by step in other tutorials we will go forward with other features as well mm, let's take or let's take a blank Okay, let's take a blank so that it will be easy for you to understand. Maximize. Now I have the blank. Like I told you, whenever you open Microsoft PowerPoint, the new one, you always have one slide that is a default slide, right? So right now, the important thing is to save it. You can go to File and Save from here, or you can click on this floppy to save. So I will click over here. I will go to Browse. Because I want to choose a folder to save my work. It's loading. Great. So I got it. I will go to desktop. And I have created a file that is Mariam ICT here. It is just an example. And I can write over here tutorial video 2. Or I can just write tutorial 2. You can write your topic name also it's all up to you how you want to save it now it's confirmed that it is saved tutorial 2 pptx this is the extension of powerpoint in this format it is saved and the uh, for uh, sorry the software is powerpoint microsoft powerpoint now let's write input and output devices Sorry, great. Now here I will write name, then grade, then you can write day, and then date. And I can just highlight, and I want this to be at the left side, so this is the alignment paragraph alignments so i will click this one and it will go to left and i will keep this here now i want this to go a little bit up and i want to insert a picture first of all let's change the font style so i will choose font style see it became big so let's keep it a little bit down and drag to yes done now if you want to change the color so you can if you double click it's highlighted you can see a small toolbar over here as well so you can go here or you can choose from here as well so let's take purple great now go to insert go to online pictures that means clip art in my version it is online picture maybe in your version 2007 or 10 it will be a clip art and from here i can search for example desktop computer as the topic is for ict input and output devices so i will choose one picture that is related to input and output devices for example this one Click and then insert. 
load downloading great i got the picture so now see my picture is related to the topic input and output devices so over here i have input devices also and i have output devices also let's make it a little bit small great now i can put animations i can custom animation if you click on arrow let's click again here this one if you click on arrow you have custom path now custom path means you can create your own animation for example i want this computer to go down and then go up click see down and up see it, it's kind of giving a bounce uh, picture that it, it just went down bounced back so this is how you can create your custom if i move this it the animation will also move so let's click on preview preview means i want to see what changes i did like that great so you can do this also i will be teaching you some of the tips now this is the tip this is not in the lesson but for your good information that you can create a good presentation this was a tip from my side now you can go to design and you can choose any design you want it's all up to you mm, let's go to format background let's see if i can take any design from here let's take a solid color green okay this is just an example it's the taking colors and choosing the font style font size all is up to you dear students you are the designers and creators you can you can do it according to you now let's go to home in home we have another and now i want to put second slide right so already i put input and output devices the topic now i want to start with input devices first so i will click here this one because i want one picture and a heading so i will write here input devices and see if you can see here let's make it zoom a little bit zoom out yes i just want to show you one thing over here let's go down yes over here we have the shortcuts we can go to insert and put all the pictures or tables or graph and we can click over here as well if you go here it shows you picture so if i click this i can insert picture if i go here online picture if i go here i can insert a video if i go here i can insert a table right now i'm not clicking i'm just showing you insert chart and here insert smart art graphics so rather than going over here and choosing you can choose from here as well so let's zoom out a little bit more yeah now input devices now i just wrote input devices you have another way also let's erase this i want to show you word art so you can choose a word art as well and i will just delete this one just click here over here and press delete button and you can take this up like that and let's write input devices we have different ways to design our presentation this will help you a lot inshallah in upcoming years as well in your education input devices now here i want a picture of or first of all i should write a definition right so let's write input devices sends instructions to computer right for example keyboard mouse microphone it sends signals and instruction to computer right inside the computer and output devices gives us the result for example printer our computer screen so now the definition is complete i can just highlight double click and i can choose a font 
style and a font size great now if you can see here when i click here it shows me this area shape style right so when you click the arrow you can choose any style that you want so let's choose this one like that input devices and if you want to put a picture over here we can put a picture as well the bullets you can see the bullets these are already there automatically if i click enter it i can get the bullets again so this is all automatic now let's go to insert and insert let's go to um, pictures because i think i have uh, pictures in my computer let's take a picture yes see keyboard so i will just double click and i got the picture you just need to move the picture remember to click and drag to make it small and big and i will keep this here and double click and you can if you double click the picture there will be format option from where you can change the color of the picture see and you can do correction correction means maybe it is blur or it's not looking good so you can do the correction as well like that now you have another layouts as well for example let's take let's take let's take this one and here let's write for example output devices we can make the presentation in more detail but just to save time i'm just and trying to cover the whole features so i will be using direct slides now let's go to you can choose any other style as well if you want so there are many styles just go down and you will get the styles see output devices and over here output device we can give an example for example printer and make it in the middle then over here we can give for example speakers and make it in the middle now you can take pictures from here from here right so i will go to online pictures and i will write here printer great so see i got printers so i can choose any printer i want let's choose this one and insert great now let's go to video insert video right now i don't have any videos uh, in my computer related to input and output we will insert online picture and then i will tell you how to put a video so now you are having speakers right sorry speakers great so i can choose any speakers i want insert great so see i got output devices i got example number one printer just double click and you can even choose these text shadow see italic it will be a little bit curved underline these are all the features and whether i want it in lowercase or i want all capital uppercase or i want capitalize each word so it's all or i want it like this so you can choose any that you want and then choose a color printer let's make it a little bit big yes and we can do for this as well italic underline choose a, let's choose different style for this one we have so many styles you can just do experiment on styles as well you can choose any style you want i will choose different one just to explain see you can choose any you want after that let's go to another layout let's take this one great so now i will write here video so after typing the video 
I will just click over here, double click and change the font style. I'm taking different font styles just to show you as an example that we can choose any style we want. We can choose any font size we want and we can choose any font color. Let's take more color so that you can have an idea. So we have more colors over here. You can choose any color you want and then click on OK see now we have insert video button over here and we have go to insert and then we have insert video over here we can take an online video or we can go to video on my computer so i will go to insert video and sorry i already have the video over here in my computer so double click and i got the video now keep in your mind dear students if we want the video when the slide comes and the video play automatic so for that we should go to playback first of all click the video then go to playback in the playback you can change the video to automatic right now i'm not changing we'll just show you if i if this is default on click it is always on click so what happens let's go to the slideshow now the video will not play unless i click on the play button because it is not automatic see and then stop let's go back okay now if i click on the video and i go to playback and i go to automatic and i can click on play full screen right now this is not in the full screen right when i click on play full screen and i go to the slideshow now see the difference see so you now it is showing me on the full screen and automatically the video started playing so this is how you can do you can even trim the video trim means you can cut the video and then let's go over here see i have the input device and i have the definition but when i went here i just wrote output device and i didn't do a definition so if you want to insert a slide in between the slides so you can do for example i want the slide after this right so just click this slide number two go here and you can take any layout you want let's take this one and here i will write the title for example output devices and here i will write definition for example output devices gives you result right so it gives us result for example i input letters right typing with the help of the keyboard and then it gives me result on the screen so this is just a short definition to understand output devices gives you result and just full stop now you can change the font size you can change the font color coming here change the font size i can write here for example printer so here is the description and here you can add text or you can add any picture you want so let's go to or you can add table as well so let's try table insert table now they are saying number of columns five and number of rows two so i need number of rows two and i read number of columns also two for example and then click on okay see i got it over here so i can just write here for example output device and here I can write, for example, projector. Projector is our output device, right, that we are using. And here, also I can write output device, example number two. Sorry. And here I can write, for example, digital camera but the digital camera is both input and output so let's give an example of let's give a speaker speaker great and 
if I want all of them to be in the middle, just highlight, go to home and make it in the middle. If you want to change the color or the style of the table, just click on the table over here, up here like that. Go to design and you can change the design as well. See, I have so many designs over here like that. Now, remember we changed the color over here, so I want to make it for all. So I will click here, apply to all, and I got whole. So this is my slide one, then this is my slide two, slide three, slide four, and slide number five. I just wrote a topic and then I just wrote input device and with definition and with a picture of input device. Then I went to output device. I wrote a small definition. Output device gives you result. For example, printer. You can just write gives you result out. For example, printer. Output device, for example, projector. Output device, speaker. And then coming here, output device is printer and speakers. And then coming to video. So this is how you can add slides with different layouts. Let's come to transitions. In transitions, you have many transitions, right? So you can choose any transition you want. Transition, it means whenever the slide changes, it changes in the shape or in the style that you selected. So for example, I'm selecting ripple like that. So the slide will change like this. Go to the first slide and you can go from beginning and let's see press the arrow button great let's go down so this is our second slide this is our third slide fourth slide and fifth slide with the video now i just added on this slide the transition right Dear students, as I have added a transition over here in this slide, inshallah, in next ICT practical session, we are going to discuss the transition in detail with applying to all the slides. And we are left with the one thing that is a screenshot, right? So, for example, I want a screenshot for this PPT, right? PowerPoint. So, if I go to screen, and i click on screen clipping take a quick see it's written here take a sorry take a quick snapshot of part of the screen and add it to your document so if i click here i can just click and see i got the screenshot now if i go to the powerpoint over here let's add a new slide the empty one and just go to insert click here so see the screenshot that i took right now it's here just click over here and you will get the screenshot and you can just click and make it small and keep it here so this is how you can take the screenshot as well of any screen or any picture you want now Inshallah, we will be discussing in detail in next ICT theory session about transitions and about animations. Animation we already discussed. Inshallah, we will discuss a little bit more and then we will discuss about the audio as well, how to insert the audio. And like that, Inshallah, step by step, you will be able to create a very good presentation for your audience. Till then, please take care and good luck. Bye bye.